Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. As you can tell from the title, I wanted to give you guys an update on my planner struggles video. I did a couple videos back. I was talking about all the struggles that I've been through this past year with all of my planners. And it seems like a lot of you guys were going through the same thing and it wasn't just me. I definitely saw a lot of the same comments over and the same sentiment. So it's kind of nice to know that I'm not alone in this. But since then, I've really gone back to the basics. I have a video up here that I did before that video talking about how to plan the perfect system. And I was just like watching that video myself and thinking about really what works for me. And I've also been kind of off social media the past couple weeks, I would say, just because it was too much. Every time I was on Instagram, I would see something that somebody was using and it would almost like give me a bit of anxiety about what I was doing and the fact that what I was doing wasn't working. Yet everybody else has these like beautiful planners. Anyways, so I stopped doing that, went back to the basics, and obviously as you can tell from the title of the video and everything, is that I went to pocket rings. So you guys know that I need something that is very versatile and as much as like a notebook sounds amazing and I feel like this year and last year have really been like notebook years, I know it doesn't work for me. So I finally just gave up on that and went back to rings and I chose pocket because I am going into the office twice a week, as you guys know, kind of this transition back into the office. Need something that I can carry in my bag easily that doesn't take up a lot of room because I'm already carrying my laptop and everything. So yeah, that was a size that works for me and I love rings because I need that flexibility of adding, removing things, using different layouts because <laughs> you guys know me, I can't stick in any layout for very long and I just want the versatility to try as much as I want to try. So, uh, that's why, you know, I settled back in rings. I think in the last Planner Struggles video, I had set up a rings, but I had gone on vacation and was saying that I hadn't really used it. Well, since then I came back and I got the VDS Junior. Now I do not want to promote going and buying another planner, especially after the year we've been going through, but I have been eyeing this planner literally since the end of last year and I put it in my basket like three times. You know, before VDS even like hiked up their prices earlier this year, I had this in my cart and I just never checked out. So I thought it was okay if I would just go ahead and get the planner. And so I finally bit the bullet and got it and I absolutely love it. And I'll show you in the flat lay the flip through of everything and the setup and the system and everything, of course. But definitely with this planner, I think just the specs of the ring size and the shape and the type of leather, everything just works for me right now. And I have been loving it and been really consistent with it. And the last thing that I told myself was that if this doesn't work for me as we progress through the year, then I'm just going to let myself go back into whatever I need to go back into to. For example, like I loved my digital planning for my daily pages when I wanted to import photos and whatnot. And this summer, as the weather gets a lot nicer, I'm probably going to be going out and doing a lot of things with my kids and my husband. And if I want to go back to digital so that I could easily import those photos, I'm going to do that. And if you guys want to check out how is digital planning, I will link the video up here in the cards or down in the description bar below. So that's what I have told myself. And before we get into the flat lay, I just wanted to thank the sponsor of this video, which is Irresistible Me. I've talked about them before, but they make these beautiful hair extensions. And I don't know if you can tell from today, but I just got a haircut and my stylist definitely cut my bangs a little too short and the, my hair a little bit too short because I was really trying to grow it up for the summer. But I just came in and I just put my extensions in and they look great, except the bangs. I can't wait for the bangs to grow a little bit. But look at my hair. Like you can't even tell that I have extensions in, right? It's like I didn't even cut my hair. I'll also show the picture of my haircut just so you guys can see. Doesn't it look fantastic? I've talked about them before. They make such beautiful 100% human hair extensions. They have so many designs on their website. I've worn this for a while now. I recently wore it to my daughter's birthday party and my friends were shocked that I was wearing extensions because they said that it just blended into my hair so nicely. I have the 16 inch volume extensions. I will leave the link for them down below along with my discount code, which is IM-YE10 for 10% off. If you guys want some extensions, they have all different styles. 
different lengths and I just absolutely love how easy it is. So I definitely recommend that you go check them out and thank you so much for sponsoring this part of the video. So now let's go over to the flat lay and I will walk you through my planner setup. Okay, so here it is. I'm sorry about this view. Hopefully it's okay. I'm just too lazy to take out my tripod. I have to do this in 12 minutes because I only have 12 minutes of memory left. <laughs> and 13% battery. Okay, so the first thing that I have in this back pocket, I mean, I feel like you guys know the layout, right? Like, so I won't go through the specs of the planner. I mean, it's not a new planner, so you guys have probably seen it before. What I have in the back pocket that I love storing in there is just my planner routine card, and I use this like every week, every day, to just see what I need to add into my plans that's recurring. I just find this takes away like the thinking. You don't need to think about it at all. Um, and it just makes it something a little bit faster, a little bit quicker, less thinking. Anything that makes things more functional, I'm all for. On this side here in the pen loop, it's a really nice pen loop that stretches out because of the elastic. I just have a Uni Jetstream pen in this lovely beige color. And it's um, a multi-pen, so it has a black, a red, and a blue. I absolutely love this. I got this on Stationery Pal. I don't know if they have it on there anymore, but I love Stationery Pal. They have so much stuff, so many pens, so many accessories, so much stationery for a really good price. And I think I might have a discount code with them still if you guys are interested for like 15% off. I mean, their price is already amazing, but I'll link it down below along with everything else that I talk about. Um, down in the description with the links if you want to check it out. So I love that pen there. And then here I just have a cloth and paper card with a couple stickies. Nothing in the secretarial here. And then nothing in this nice gusseted zip pocket. Um, then here I have uh, a 2023, two 2023 dashboards. One on vellum. This is a really nice thick vellum that I'll link below. It's so hard to find really good vellum, but this is a really good one on Amazon. And you can tell it's that thick material. You can even make uh, dividers with this if you wanted to. Now I do have a video if you have Cricut on how to make dividers that I'll link like up here. If you wanna make your own dividers, you could with this vellum would be great. I made these dashboards on Canva. If you guys don't know how to use Canva whatnot or want a tutorial on it again, please let me know. I love, love, love Canva. It's so easy, to, especially to create dashboards. And then here's another dashboard. I think this one I was going to put in my shop and then I don't think I ever did. If you guys like it, let me know. It's a progress dashboard. I absolutely love this quote. Again, on that same vellum. Here's the inbox from, the famous inbox from EO Edits. This is a getting things done dashboard from my shop. I love having this in my GTD section. Oh, I didn't even say this first section is like the inbox slash my GTD master list section. I always have my first section as my GTD stuff, like my GTD master lists in here. So I like to have that dashboard at the front. It's, um, it's a functional dashboard in that like it actually tells you about the GTD process. So for those of you guys who are new, maybe that would help you. Then I have all my GTD master lists. Now this layout is the same as the one that's in my shop, um, the GTD master lists listing, but really excitingly, I also created like a new bundle, like it's gonna be called the ultimate GTD printables bundle or something like that. But basically it has those GTD master lists. It's gonna have like a monthly, two weeklies, a daily, some notes pages, like all in one bundle. And also this is the one without the grid. As much as I love the small grid to fit stuff, I kind of like this like cleaner view with just the regular five millimeter spacing and the lines are a bit lighter and whatnot in this pocket, just because like pocket is so small that sometimes it can feel cluttered with the little grids. So I thought this might be nice and I'm gonna be creating this in all different types of sizes. If it's already in the shop, it will be linked down below. If not, you can always tell me what size you're in and I can work on that size or whatever. Okay, so the second section is my pre-planning section. Now, um, I always do my pre-planning in a Hobonichi weeks at the beginning of the year because I'm trying to use a trillion different planners. 
But like I've mentioned before and again and again, I usually am like a one planner type girl. And so it's like, I'm just gonna put my pre-planning in here as well. So it can be all in one spot. And so I put it in this section two, and I'm just gonna explain how I do that. So I have this insert, which is a fold out I think I call it the notes fold out or something, but it basically just has the months of the year. And I use this to put anything that's not happening in the current month. So currently we're in June, anything that's in July to the rest of the year, I'll put in here. Because further out, your plans are just very high level. There's no details. You don't need a lot of space. And so this big box for a whole month is perfect. Um, so that's what I do for further out. Then these are just dated weeklies from Philo Facts that's included when you buy their planners. And what I do here is when I'm in that month. So for example, in June, when I'm in June, if there's things that's happening, say a week or two weeks out, then I'll put it on these. Whereas anything that's further than that, I would put on that first insert. Does that make sense? Just because once you get closer to, there might be more details or whatever. And so that's how I use that. Okay, then here in section three, this is actually a new kind of section that I titled currently. I can't remember who I saw was using this, but this is basically everything that I'm kind of working on currently. So of course it would include my day-to-day -day weeklies, monthlies, dailies, but also some inserts of things that I'm working on now, like projects and whatnot. So let me just show you here a little flip through of the pages. So here I have these dailies. These are from one of my GTD bundles. Love these dailies. Um, and it has like the little grid. Here is a weekly, and this is a week on two page fold out. So you'll see that it has like, the middle ones are like the daily pages. And I've shown this on Instagram. If you guys aren't following me there, you should, is the um, week in these verticals or whatever. And these are pretty functional. And I like how it's a fold out because it gives you a lot more space in a pocket. And what's actually really fun about these is that these are Hubman and Chub Girl stickers. Um, I love these stickers. I will link their shop down below. I think I also have a discount code with them and they're a Toronto based shop. So I love supporting local. And these are the Hobonichi Cousin Kids, but they fit perfectly in this insert. So you see these stickers like fit perfectly in the columns. I didn't trim anything. The um, weekly date stickers fit perfectly, didn't trim anything. And yeah, so that's always nice. And then, um, the monthly here, I thought this turned out really cute. A month on two pages with the little grid. The little grid just helps you like write more in the pocket, I think. And then here is a month on one page. I use this just to kind of jot down um, things that happen after the month. I don't really use it like in the month. Then here, this is my gratitude um, dashboard and I'm not good at journaling as you guys know. So I just like to write one little line of gratitude so it's not a lot of commitment and then I color it in cause it's kind of pretty, but yeah, it's just a little dashboard for my shop. Then I have these dailies, which are so cute from the new bundle, the new GTD bundle. And they just look so clean, I think. They don't have the grid. Um, and I took the grid out just because I feel like it looks kind of clean in the pocket without the grid, especially since it's so small. This bundle, like I said, will be available in all sizes, but I just love how these turned out. So I use a lot of these this month. So you can kind of see, they're just so cute. I just love pocket dailies. And then here I have a weekly insert and there's gonna be two types of weekly inserts, but this is the week on two pages that just has like the days on this side and then the habit tracker, next actions, waiting on projects, weekly review, which I love, love, love this setup. And then there's also going to be another weekly. I don't think I have it in my planner. That's vertical. And it has like the um, days or the times beside each day. So that'll be super helpful if you are more of a time-based planner. And yeah, so I have basically a whole bunch of these. And then here I have this insert, which is also a part of that bundle, but it's just these grids. 
or not grids, but these big boxes and how I'm using this is for my workouts at the gym. Like what did I do weight wise? And it's just a really versatile little insert. Then here I have um, the projects that I'm working on this month. So that was my kids, my girls' birthday parties. And I'm using this project insert. This isn't the project planner bundle. It's just the project inserts. And I like this because it kind of fits everything on uh, two pages for like small projects where you don't need a whole bundle. I find these are kind of nice. And you can kind of see that I just use a collection of inserts in this planner because again, I'm trying to focus on what do I need, what's functional, what works for me instead of making it all cohesive and pretty, you know, like what's functional, right? This is a month on two pages. This is gonna be included in that bundle and then just some extra inserts. Okay, then in section four, I have all of my projects. So I have project inserts and then also my travel planner insert because that's obviously a project too. I love, love, love this travel planner bundle. Um, I, I used it for my trip earlier this year, two trips actually, one in January, I went to Punta Cana, one in um, May when I went on my Disney cruise in Orlando and I just could not, survive planning a trip without these now I think it has trip overview financials it has like things to do weeks before the day of travel day stuff um, itineraries for the week it has notes it has wardrobe it has literally everything outfits a uh, pack list like a pre created pack list for you and kids if you need it has dailies it literally has everything I won't go through all of it but yeah I just use that to do all of my trip planning so that's what's in there and then also print project inserts in here typically um, for all the projects that I'm kind of working on in that year I don't know for some reason I like to plan projects in here just to like be able to whip it out and write it down I just find really helpful in this kind of setup Okay, so then into um, section five. Okay, sorry guys, so my camera totally died. So if the lighting looks a bit different, it's cause it's a few hours later. But anyways, so section five here is basically my inspirations section. And so here I just kind of put random inspiration type things so for example my groceries list like it just gives me inspiration I, I guess you wouldn't really call it inspiration but it just gives me some ideas about um, different things that I can buy in case like I can't think of what we need it's just kind of a starter ideas list and here I just have my swatches and these are the inks from Ferris wheel press I have a code discount code with them down below but they have really beautiful inks and if you can see like these are some of my favorites the glistening glass that's probably my all-time favorite it's like a dark bluish gray and it's got almost like little glistening pieces in it and it's just so pretty and the pink one's really fun for this year because pink is really in this year fashion wise I think um and then here I just have some pictures from um Pinterest so just some ideas for fashion if I'm like online shopping or if I'm about to go out I just need some inspiration or whatever I can look at these mood boards to kind of jog my memory on what I'm kind of looking for so these are really easy to make um, yeah so that's that and then the last section is my reference section um, and so, oh, it has these reference pages that are also from my bundle, my ultimate GTD bundle. So it literally has everything. And you'll notice that I actually rounded the corners on all of my inserts. I love this corner rounder. I will link it down below. It's a pretty common one, Kadamori or Kadamoru Pro or something like that absolutely love it. it has three settings and I just use the medium one and I don't know it kind of just like gives it more of a polished finish look but yeah so this is the reference inserts from that bundle love it then just yes yeah, some other inserts with random things for reference and these inserts is the collab I did with Philo Planner it's her brain dump insert um, that are super versatile and I have them all over the place another dashboard that I made on Canva and then some more inserts, just the reference inserts, some contact inserts that came with Filofax. And then that's pretty much it. 
Okay, and then in the very back here, I have tucked in here this little notebook. I'm just gonna show you that. And this has a passport, clear passport cover on it. I know a lot of you guys asked me in some of my other videos. I will link it down below. I got it from AliExpress, but I think you can get them on Amazon too. If I can find them, I will link them. And then I just put a couple dash um, planner cards in them, I mean. And this is my yearly Passport TN notebook that's in my shop. So it's a printable. And what it has is kind of like the monthlies at the front. So January to December, it's undated, so you can use it year over year. And then it has the index with a bunch of um, grid pages in the back that are numbered at the bottom. And so um, let me see how many pages I can't recall. It has 25 pages and then you have an index with 25 slots or whatever, obviously, so that you can kind of make a reference to them. And this is kind of like a yearly book. So if you're in a traveler's notebook or you just want to keep a little notebook in your in the back of your planner, I feel like this is really nice. And this just houses any list that I want to keep on a yearly basis. And what I like about this is, you know, if I switched from different planners, I'll keep the information in here that I want to keep all year and that I want to have like in whatever planner that I'm in. Um, I'll write those in this index. And then here... Before I was kind of using this as like a pre-planning or you can use it to kind of just jot down any major events that happen in each month. And again, I like to kind of keep this as well. It kind of duplicates a little bit of the pre-planning that's in here, but it's different in that it's in this like nice month on two page view, which the other ones, if you recall, um, I only had the weeklies and that fold out. So if you ever like to see things kind of laid out in this monthly view, so you can kind of like gauge where things are I kind of like it like that for this and again it's in this yearly book that I can keep with me kind of whatever planner I use and it's a nice little um, book to be able to archive at the end of the year so really love that um, so that's what's tucked in the back in here and then I just have three cards and I tuck this in the secretarial and it kind of hides my cards as well which is kind of nice and yeah, so that's basically the setup. I've really, really been loving it. Um, and it's just so functional. And I feel like because I've been just focusing on what works for me and oh, also I have press on nails. That's why they're no longer on here because it's the end of the day now and I took them off. If you guys want a video on press on nails, let me know because I've totally got into like nails recently and just like gone down a rabbit hole um of doing gel nails and press-ons and just trying different things and I didn't want to put my hands under like the uv lights or whatever anyways I digress so by not putting any pressures on myself um I've just made this super functional I've told myself that if this doesn't work I'm free to move around and yeah just not worrying so much what things look like and using what I love definitely helps that I got like this planner that I'm loving and these inserts <laughs> these um kind of refresh GTD inserts especially like these dailies I'm just like so obsessed with and I think that's also what's keeping me in the pocket because I've always loved a daily insert in pocket if you guys follow me for a while you guys have seen me in and out of pocket and me talking about how like pocket is the perfect size for dailies so yeah I think that's what's kind of keeping me in this and then notion is just so functional for me for work because again I'm already on my computer and it's just a tab I can pull up on any computer um, at any time on my laptop so for those of you guys who kind of had that same setup and need something for work that way you can check out that notion video I'll link over there so that's all I have for today. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys next week. Bye.